1999, 1888, 1777, 1666, 1121. <laughs> Wagwan YouTube, you don't know so it's King Crisis, the girls them nicest, and I am back with the continuation of my 7 minute Saturday series. <laughs> Well, anyways, Happy New Year to you guys. I want to send a special shout out to my new subscribers over the Christmas period. Thank you so much for supporting King Crisis TV. Now, this is the second episode of my 7 Minute Saturdays series. Now, in this episode, I will be discussing mobile video editing, various softwares which you can use for mobile video editing, the pros, and also the cons of editing videos on your mobile devices. All right, so let's get into the meat of the matter. Let's start the timer on this stopwatch. Let's go. So the first app on the list is Filmora Go. Now Filmora Go is available for both iPhone and Android devices. Filmora Go is a fun and powerful video editing app. If you mostly upload short videos on YouTube, it is the app that you should try on your iPhone or Android device. It has basic and advanced editing features that allow you to split and cut your videos, rotate, adjust the volume, control the speed, and adjust color. With amazing filters and special effects, Filmora Go will let you create amazing videos in no time. But you can also spend a little extra to get like stock features, fonts, overlays, so on and so forth to make your videos pop even more. Next on the list is Viva Video. Now, Viva Video is one of the most famous and renowned YouTube video editing application for both iOS and Android. From shooting your videos to professionally editing them, Viva Video provides every option you will need. You can easily shoot the video using the built-in camera feature of the application. The best thing about Viva Video editing is that you can also record in normal mode and widescreen. Apart from shooting the videos, you can also add multiple beautiful effects to your videos, but can also add audio tracks from your iTunes library, your music library, so on and so forth. There is also some built-in and beautiful picture in the picture effect of the video. Last but not least, you can also make a slideshow of different photos. Now Viva Video is a free software, but like Filmora Go, you can spend a couple bucks to get the extra features. Now next on the list is Magisto. Now Magisto is a perfect app for those users who just want to add some filters to their videos. This YouTube video editor app doesn't offer much functionality compared to the two that were mentioned before, but it does have some cool features and effects you can use to apply to the video with simple clicking options. <laughs> That's it, really. The best part about using Magista is that you can save all your videos on the cloud. So you can edit them anytime from a simple web browser, in other words, So the next one I will be talking about is only available for iPhones and Mac users. This is iMovie. Now, a list of video editors is incomplete without the amazing video editing application by Apple, iMovie. Although it is only available for iOS, it has great video editing features such as adding text, changing an audio track of a video, adding effects to a video, and finally uploading it to famous social media networking sites such as Facebook, YouTube, VMO, Twitter, and the list goes on. Another noticeable feature about using iMovie is that you can change the speed of a particular part of the video. You can also make a slow motion or hyperlapse video at a specific part in that video. Now iMovie is free for all iPhone and Mac users. Now the next powerful mobile video editing software we'll be talking about is KineMaster or KineMaster or KineMaster, however you pronounce it. So. 
Kind Master is a great YouTube video editing tool to edit videos on Android devices only. It helps everyone from basic level to professional level. Just like iMovie, everything is present right on the screen. Unlike most of the video editors, it doesn't offer the simple video editing, however. The videos are created in the form of layers, so you can easily create the picture-in-picture -picture effect for the video you can also add text as introductions, credits, or subtitles of the video. You can also add music from the music library on your Android phone and can perform basic editing functions such as cropping, trimming, and rotating the video. Keenemaster, Kindmaster, Keenmaster, however you call it. So the next video editing software we'll be talking about is, like myself, CuteCut. No. CuteCut is different from all other video editing software because of the amazing user-friendly interface. The UI of this app resembles most of the professional video editing software for Mac and PC. From the main screen, you can easily drag and drop the videos and photos to the main screen. Now, CuteCut is available for both Android and iOS devices. Now, next on the list is Wii Videos. Now, WeVideos is an ultimate video editing application that is available as an online service for computers, an app for iOS, and also an app for Android devices. You can easily save all your data on the cloud and can edit the videos while on the go. As far as the editing features of these applications are concerned, it has all the necessary features to edit videos, crop the videos, trim the videos, rotate and adjust the brightness of the videos, voiceovers, add in music, text. This application is just amazing. It covers all areas and it's free with in-app purchases and it's available for both Android and iOS devices and don't forget the cloud-based service for computers. So that's it for the list, but the mobile application for editing your YouTube videos doesn't end there. There are tons of other mobile editing apps out there. You can tell us some you use in the comments below. There's Adobe Premiere Rush, there's a good old YouTube video editor built into YouTube, which is very easy to use even though it's not the best video editing software. So, which one do you think is the best of the list? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, let me know in the comments which of the three video editing softwares I discussed earlier you want me to do an in-depth review of. Let me know in the comments and I will do a video using these software to edit videos and upload them to my YouTube channel. In next week's video, I will be talking about some mobile applications you can use to make your YouTube thumbnails and YouTube banners. So, it was a pleasure talking to you guys, because I know you missed me. So, thanks for making it King Crisis TV. It is I, King Crisis, and I am signing out. Ugh.